so once you go through the reviewer uh, instruction you find this peer uh, general peer review process this is the chart and uh, it uh, this this particular processes which we are following for our most of the general almost more of the general uh, just once uh, author submit any manuscript to the general as dr lalit sir has explained very well on the um, in of pub.org but uh, i i will i will just uh, go a uh, short uh, tour on the processor once again so um, uh once uh, any author can submit the manuscript to the general then it uh, it goes through the editorial office scrutiny where the plagiarism check through i authentical software is there and the number of word limits and the scope of the general it falls uh, up to the scope of the general or not and the preliminary scrutiny is done to the editorial office if it is not under the um, uh, criteria then it is uh, the informed author at the same time they are not even processing that manuscript further and if it is uh, clears the preliminary scrutiny then uh, uh, we will send the editorial uh, editors initial evaluation of the paper uh, if editors reject that particular article then we again inform the author and if ed editor accept that article then we are considering and invite expert to the peer review process we sent uh, this uh, because we were following uh, following especially double blind peer review procedure for for our uh, journal so uh, here we can send this two different uh, reviewers and uh, if the experts agree uh, to send the review report to the editor then editor can uh, uh, we this, uh, this expert advice from the reviewers can be proceeded to the editor and then editor will decide the next step that it is to be accept to revise or to reject if the paper needs revision it is again returned to the author with the same procedure of double blind peer reviews and then uh, author this all available on the inofpub.org and then author revise and submit that particular paper again to the our portal then editors uh, or original reviewers re-evaluate that particular uh, manuscript and reviewers comment and editors decide that it will be take for the consideration um, or uh, uh, peer reviewers for the time uh, then we send an email automatic email should be uh, uh, send it to the peer reviewers for their time efforts and expert evaluation and which will uh, be uh, send it to the uh, publons which dr satish muthu sir and dr lalit sir explained very well in their uh, live demo on publon and all and if the particular paper is not false under the uh, editor's uh, um, uh, choice then it will be rejected uh, and if we again inform the author and if it is accepted by the editor then we inform the author then the copy editing procedures is own for that particular manuscript and finally it is published on the ahead of print issue on any of uh, on our website and after that the ahead of print uh, issues when when it is uh, published on the website after the publication online e publication after the uh, that publication uh, after a week or a 15 days we publish in a print format so they they have that grass period also if there is any changes in uh, in the manuscript uh, i mean uh, a small mistake which is uh, not covered at that uh, time then we can have that space also there so there is no embargo period for our any of the ahead of print uh, uh, manuscript